project is a perfect first project because it, it's about wanting to do something and then going through like all the, the, all the doubt in your head, like the, I can't do it. What if it doesn't work out? What if no one likes it? What if no one wants to watch my stuff? What if everyone hates me? The list goes on and on and depends on how much sleep I got, but it, the list is sometimes longer than others. Th this project is really just about overcoming that. It's about going through the I can't do it stage and then like cutting all that up in your head and then spitting out the I can do it. I'm Jay. This is JBV Creative. Let's create. <laughs> This is the crappy drawing that I drew. And I was gonna explain things to you over this drawing, but it makes way more sense just to dive right into the CAD. So let's check that out. Let's, let's do that. I've done a little bit of CAD, like maybe, you know, a week and a half <laughs> of CAD. This has been hard. But that's why we do things. We challenge ourselves and then look at what we get out of it. It's amazing. Look at this. So there's three, distinct parts of this CAD. The first part is the stamp mechanism. And the stamp mechanism uses just a single motor, which is hidden nicely in here. It's just a regular DC motor. And the way these motors work is you give it power and it turns one way, and you give it power in the reverse direction and it turns the other way. So it's very simple from an, a control standpoint. The stamp mechanism uses this rack, which is this thing right here and this pinion, and when you give power to the motor, as this turns, it moves up and down on this track. That's the stand mechanism. Next thing is the scissors mechanism. So the scissors mechanism is driven by a servo motor. Servo motors work by, you, you give them an angle and it's got an, a little arm and it moves to whatever angle you give it. The servo is connected to this gear right here, which meshes with this gear right here. See how this opens and shuts. As those open and shut, the scissors open and shut as well. And the last mechanism that makes up this ridiculous machine is the paper feeding mechanism. The paper feeding mechanism is driven by one single motor, which is this right here. It's a stepper motor. The reason I chose a stepper motor is because you can precisely control how much it moves. So what I say is, okay, stepper motor, please move a hundred steps. And then I know exactly that it's gonna move a hundred steps. And that way I can precisely control how much paper is fed out through the mechanism. That's basically it. The way I've designed the whole thing is that all these pieces are gonna snap right into the base. And if all goes well, I'm only gonna have to print this base once because it's pretty big. It's like bigger than my face. Let's go see if we can make this happen. just spent all that time laying this out for one clip. It's time to clean it all up so I actually have room to work. Bring on the chaos.
Okay, so we've hit our first speed bump. I was trying to figure out how to do this part in CAD and I couldn't really figure out the best way to do it. Looking at it now, I did not choose the best way to do it. I put these slots in the base to allow for the wires to run. So everything looks clean and nice and the wires are supposed to run underneath the wood. Now the problem is, I'm looking at it now and realizing that I can't access the wires underneath the wood because it's solid. I guess. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play around with it until I figure it out. That's problem number one. Problem number two is that the slot itself is not deep enough. And I'm not printing another one of these because it just is a huge waste of material. So I think I'm just going to have to Dremel out the slots to make them deeper. So I think that means it is now time for Dremel destruction. All right, let's go destroy stuff. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to use this burr and I'm just going to give her. So here goes nothing. That's problem two solved. Let's go solve problem number one. But I, I, it's gonna work. It's gonna work and that makes me feel so much better. Okay. Deeper slot. Yes! I would argue that that was the hardest part of the build. So it should be smooth sailing from this point on. All right, let's go. There's definitely a better way to do this. Build is done. Wow, this thing looks ridiculous. This was an undertaking. To get to this point, I kind of, I can see the end. It just feels really good. I, I can't wait to be finished, but there's still a lot to be done. I still need to program it. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with, with this end. But the build is, yeah, the build is done. Okay, so it's, it's all wired up and it's actually working but last night 
as I was trying to go through my final test, I realized there's a little bit of a flaw in the design. So if you look here, you will notice that there's only a motor on one side. And what's happening is as it's pushing the stamp down, it's actually pushing one side down more than the other. It's not stamping evenly. And you can see that it's kind of fading out on this side of the stamp. So I printed some new parts overnight. I'm gonna grab them off the printer right now and it's gonna be a little bit of a grind to, to put them on to this unit, but that's the engineering process and it's definitely worth it to get everything working. So I'm trying to organize the electronics and for whatever reason, this part always ends up being a complete afterthought. There's a lot of bits and pieces here and they all have to like mush into this box that I made for it, so. Yeah, it's just gonna take a, a little finagling. So let, let's finagle. like one of those big moment here's the moment of truth and I plug it in and switch it on and everything works but I tested it before that and nothing worked and I think I fried a microcontroller so I had to do like some troubleshooting I have no idea why things are working now and they weren't before but they're working now so here's the moment of truth Yes! <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna set up the photo backdrop. So give me, I don't know, about 10 more seconds in video time and you will finally get to see this thing working. Thank you guys so much for watching without you guys none of this would be worth doing so i really appreciate the motivation that comes from creating stuff for all of you this was a challenge but in the end it it paid off it was worth going through the ups and downs if i if i don't try i'm never going to create anything so it's better to fail than to do nothing and i have this stack of encouraging messages to keep me going along the way there are tons of ideas floating around my head, so there's gonna be plenty more videos coming up in the future. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know what parts you liked, what parts you didn't like. If you wanna see more of my art, I have an Instagram page, at JBV Creative, so check that out if you're interested. And until next time, peace.